Sometimes we want to be able to solve a system of equations really quickly. So maybe on an ACT you would like to solve it using a system of equations with a calculator instead of you doing it by either substitution or elimination. Or maybe on your test you just want to check your answer. On your test you will have to show your work for me, but if you uh, use your calculator to check your answer, that is perfectly fine. So here are your steps. You need to go to Menu. So we're going to look at our calculator at the same time here. Sorry, there we go. Menu, right here. Okay, you need to go to A. I like to, sometimes I type the number, sometimes I just scroll over, scroll over to A, the equations. Hit your execute button, the blue button. Then you need to hit F1, simultaneous. Number of solutions, in this case we're doing two, so hit two. Make sure the data that you have is in AX plus BY equals C form for both equations, and then you need to plug, into, plug in the coefficients. So this is AX plus BY, that B is your, we have a 1 right there, we have a 1 right here equals 4. And we have negative 2X minus 2Y equals negative 6. So we need to plug these in. So our A is our, the ones with the X's. Our B is the one with this Y, and C is the last one. So one half, so one half, and B is one, C is four. And then for the other one we have negative two, and you just hit the execute button each time you want to move over. And a negative two again, and then a negative six. Okay, when you are done, you need to hit F1 and solve. And so this answer here is negative 2, 5. So this one is negative 2, 5. So we did all that without having to do substitution or um, elimination. So in ACT, depending on how fast you are, either one can be quicker. Now this one, we have not an AX plus BY equals C. Okay, so we need to rearrange first. So if we take the top one, y equals 3x plus 5. We need to move the x to the other side by subtracting. So we've got negative 3x plus 1y equals 5. And the other one, x equals negative 3y minus 5. And move our y to the other side. So on these, we want them to be x and y on the same side, just like elimination. Now we're going to plug these two in. So. If I hit F1 again, it goes back to the screen, I can hit delete, and then F1 go, it makes everything go away. So number of constraints is 2. Okay, so we've got negative 3x, so negative 3, blue button, execute, 1, blue button, execute, 5, blue button. So our other one is, sorry. 1, 3, and negative 5. Hit F1 to solve it, and we get negative 2, negative 1. And that is how you solve it.